Hi everyone, welcome to another tip video from Danny and myself. Um, today we're going to be going through some short green side bunkers and some mistakes that we see golfers make and what ways you can improve. Yeah, so here we've got a standard green side bunker shot. Not particularly long, you're talking that's you know, 10 metres maximum from the, where the ball position is. Look, I see a lot of mistakes players make when they get into this area. Most commonly, they, li they leave it in the bunker. And that stems from poor setup. So, one of the things I would suggest players really look at is getting into a good setup position. So, so what setup do you like? So, I personally like a square setup. So, for, the, for your benefit and for the visual here, to draw a couple of lines. So, this is like kind of, especially in practice, here we, call, we set up two parallel lines. A target line for where the flag position is between you know, the golf ball and the flag. Then I'll have my ass where my feet are going to be. You'll notice here that I'm not going to set my feet up really, really open. Big mistake number one. We're going to correct that initially by setting my feet up square to target. So how I would help players and the, the members in particular to learn to set up square to target, don't go in with the club face open. Go in by pointing your club face at the flag stick and then set your feet up parallel to that position. Okay? That's how I'd set myself up square. State number two, ball position. We don't want the golf ball too far back. Players are afraid of hitting sand. Do not be afraid to hit sand. Sand is your friend. So I like players to set up. Why they hitting their driver? Get the ball forward. The reason why we get the ball forward is I get more space, more opportunity to hit that sand. So not only are we going to go in square here, but my golf ball position, and if I've got the camera in the right spot here, it might seem a bit off, but Emily can attest, golf ball's up by my left heel, like yep. where I'd hit my driver. Exactly. Okay, so I've got my ball position, I've got my stance with my face is square. I'm actually going to add a little bit of loft, okay? Yep. Small amount. So, and are you twisting your hands or are you actually moving the club in your hands? Great, great point. No, I'm not just going to roll my hands open. I physically allow the club to turn, so you'll see I quite often keep between both hands to ensure that the club face is now open. You know, take my grip, okay? Yep. What I don't want to do is set up square, then open up my hands like this because when I come back to impact, exactly right, the club face is going to be square and the golf is going to blast over that green there. So we get the club face open initially. Okay? The other thing that I'd like players to do, and I, and I would suggest, you get the weight forward. Okay? I don't want to be leaning on my back foot. I'm not trying to scoop the golf back up in the air. And the problem I get when players get on their back foot, the point of contact is way too far back in the sand. So again, Leads to that too much sand, and the golf ball barely gets out of the bunker, especially on those short shots. So, we get the weight ball, that enables us to get the club working close to the golf ball, but getting the appropriate amount of sand. And do you like to grip down on the club or have the full length? So, I actually go about halfway down, so don't go all the way to the, the bottom of the grip. And the reason why I don't do that is quite often see players who go very low down on the grip, they will kind of thin the golf ball. You can kind of see here for the camera there, got about equal amount between the Top end of the shot. Yeah. Do you have like a first movement that you like to think about before you start to swing? So yeah, before I get the swing away, I, I like to feel like I'm pushing my weight down to my left foot in my laces. That's, that's important to me. And then really my final thought before I hit, you know, before I get the club away is I'm just trying to make contact about an inch to half an inch behind the golf ball. I'm trying to hit the sand. I, I tell myself that. Don't be afraid to hit the sand. So, you know, I get myself set and ready to go here. So you can see there, we've managed to take plenty of sand, the ball's popped up and out, and really the bunker shot isn't so difficult and certainly very pliable from a, a straight setup. Yeah, correct. Um, so that's good to hear. So um, some key takeaways, you can have a square stance when you're bunker. Probably yep. one thing for members to take away. Don't be afraid to have a square stance. Um, make sure you weight forward, ball position forward, and don't be afraid to take some sand. Um, hopefully you guys have learned something new today um, and tune in next time for when we have a new video. Thanks guys. Thanks guys.